As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flag, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order.
Division Zero. Today's graduating performing unit is Division 9, 1, 8. Division 918 provides the recruit choir, drill team, and band for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face, Section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments.
divisions, counter, march. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you'll see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command. Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see five divisions comprised of 394 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is seaman recruit Cooper Hearn from Ames, Iowa. Let's give him a hand, folks. <laughs> Performing today is the state flags unit on their sixth week of training, the staff unit on their seventh week of training, and the triple threat unit on their 10th and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 087. 
commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Brian Parrish. Petty Officer First Class Julio Burgos. Petty Officer Second Class Joseph Johnson. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Brandon Thomas from Mobile, Alabama. Division 088. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Rodney Harris. Petty Officer First Class Benjamin Morocco. Petty Officer Second Class Tashit Jenkins. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Recruit Cameron Lynn from Fort Worth, Texas. Division 089. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Noemi Kohler. Petty Officer First Class Thomas Myring. Petty Officer Second Class Tyler Hope. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Recruit Zion Morgan from San Diego, California. Division 091. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Henry Branham. Petty Officer Second Class, Keenan Allen. Petty Officer Second Class, Daisha Anderson Sills. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Aiden Steele from Lake Havasu, Arizona. Division 918. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Leo Oblima. Petty Officer First Class Jonathan Garson. Petty Officer First Class Pearl Green. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Natalie Palaki from Calhoun, Colorado. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Boatswain and Honor Guard, take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Recruit Training Command, arriving. U.S. Naval Forces Europe are arriving. The guests may be seated.
guests, please rise. Present Arts. Said arms. Order Arts. Chaplain Brindier will offer this morning's invocation. Good morning. Let us pray. Gracious God, as this new day greets us, so we greet you. The unwavering dedication of these young men and women becoming disciplined sailors fills us with a profound gratitude today unites us in celebration. In moments, they'll step forward in new schools, new lands, new waters, and onto new platforms. And if just for a moment gone, before they set their focus on these possibilities, we ask that they would reflect on the key people and the points of adversity they faced, pursuing a call to greater service. To truly become men and women of honor, courage, and commitment, meeting the needs of our nation, and the Navy has meant sacrifice. They chose to do something hard. They experienced separation from home, developed new tools for thriving, and they faced many evolutions in training. Whether adversity, confusion, 
accomplishments or confidence. They've prepared for and grown into able sailors, and we entrust them to your care and your charge, sailors that we are privileged to serve with. It's an honor to serve, to lay down our lives is of ultimate significance. May each sailor here step forward with a fierce conviction to protect the ship, and may they be faithful in giving their lives for one another, looking out for their shipmates. To the many friends and family gathered here, to the numerous instructors, staff, RDCs who watch and witness this moment, may they remember as well that they were part of making this celebration possible. Now may the wisdom, knowledge, and guidance passed to them lead them in navigating new courses and getting underway. Give to each man and woman your courage and your strength. That fear would be set aside, faith would be formed, and spirits would be ready for what lies ahead. At such an important moment globally, may they be determined to spread freedom and to do justly, guard and protect them, as well as our nation and our Navy. With joy we send them forward, and in your presence we ask these things. Amen. Guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your United States Navy Quarterdeck. I'm Captain Ken Kroger, Commanding Officer, Recruit and Training Command. I'd like to welcome all our family and friends attending this graduation today and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Admiral Stuart Munch, Commander, United States Naval Forces Europe, Commander, United States Naval Forces Africa, Commander, Allied Joint Forces Command Naples, and our special guest, Mr. Bill Wheeler, Senior Vice President, Illinois Society of Sons of the American Revolution. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Would all our veterans please rise and give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 918 graduates today. They're our triple threat unit, providing recruit, choir, drill team, and band. How about a round of applause for them today? Make some noise. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention the four other outstanding divisions standing before you here and now. Round of applause for their outstanding performance. The Staff and Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here now. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of training, earned the right to wear the uniform recognized as a symbol of freedom around the world. I would also like to take a moment to welcome you, their Navy family, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your Navy family resources here at Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet Navy Boot Camp Navy Family to learn more about your new Navy family. Today's graduates will serve as the bedrock of our American Naval Forces around the world and join other American sailors to defend freedom and liberty against those who would threaten. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 394 of the newest sharper sailors in the United States Navy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Recruit Training Command's competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride and accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more missionary events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle flag in recognition of their performance. Two divisions have earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job. Well done. Any division that excels in every phase of training and earns all flags qualifies for the Chief of Naval Operations Honor Division Recognition and is awarded the CNO Honor Flag for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and a spirit of corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Two divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them on a job exceptionally well done. Admiral Munch will now present this week's individual awards, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober, Naval Service Training Command, Mr. Stallings, and our guests of honor, Mr. Wheeler, Fleet Master Chief Gonzalez, and Command Sergeant Major Chensa.
Morning, Captain. Seaman Soda, reporting. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman William Soda, Division 088 from Princeton, Wisconsin, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of American Revolution. Seaman Soda receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Seaman Apprentice Noah Kurz, Division 091 from York, Pennsylvania, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Apprentice Krebs is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor! Seaman Apprentice Marcel Mendoza, Division 091 from Escondido, California, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for Best Exemplifying the Spirit and Intent of the Word Shipping. Seaman Apprentice Mendoza is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor! Chad Castro, Division 089 from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Airman Castro is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor! Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Jesus Sanchez, Division 091 from San Diego, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Sanchez is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Thank you, 
Seaman Natalie Halake, Division 918 from Calhan, Colorado, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places her at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. She is awarded a flag letter of commendation. Seaman Halake, the staff of Recruit Training Command, salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor! It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. in a little pickup conference about being brilliant at the basics, and that's what you see today. These people worked hard over the past nine weeks to become these sailors standing for you right now. I have the distinct honor this morning of introducing our viewing officer, Admiral Stuart Munch, Commander of the United States Naval Forces Europe, Naval Forces Africa, and Commander of Allied Joint Forces Command in Naples. A native of North Dakota, he is a 1985 graduate of the United States Naval Academy. That one much served in the Plans and Policy Director J-5 prior to becoming Deputy Executive Assistant to Commander of U.S. Pacific Command. He was a White House Fellow and served as Special Assistant to the Secretary of Agriculture. He commanded USS Albuquerque, followed by duty in the Pentagon as a Military Assistant to the Deputy Secretary of Defense, and then as an Executive Assistant to the Director of Submarine Warfare, Office of Chief of Naval Operations. The Admiral commanded Submarine Development Squadron 5 and then returned to the Pentagon to head the Navy Strategy Branch. Selected for flag rank, he was reassigned as Deputy Director of Undersea Warfare. The Admiral commanded four deployed naval forces, including Submarine Group 7, Task Force 74, and 54, followed by duty again in the Pentagon as a Senior Military Assistant to the Deputy Secretary of Defense. In 2018, Admiral Munch became Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Plans and Strategy. 2019, he established and served as the initial Deputy Chief of Sta uh, Naval Operations for War Fighting Development. And from 2020 to 2022, he served on the Joint Staff and Director of the Joint Force Development. He assumed command of the United States Naval Forces Europe and United States Naval Forces Africa in June 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise and welcome our reviewing officer, Admiral Munch. Good morning, Navy. What a fine Navy day it is, as we welcome nearly 400 sailors into the Navy. 
Welcome aboard, shipmates. You've been an exceptionally fine group. If you think about your achievements from day one until now, it would seem insurmountable if you knew all of that was ahead of you. You have been outstanding. But like a turtle on a fence post, you didn't get here by yourself. You're here because of parents and family members, teachers, coaches, religious leaders, other mentors. And it's to those folks, many of whom are in attendance here, I extend my thank you. You have been particularly outstanding. Today, only about 25% of the young people in America qualify for the armed forces. With the academic aptitude, the physical ability, and the good behavior that's required. And those high qualities are required because it is our responsibility to deter aggression, defend against adversaries, and preserve life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all Americans. Now, a bit of advice I would like to give you. Try every day to do a little bit better than what's expected of you. If you're given a task, finish it before the deadline. If you're asked to repair some equipment, clean up the work site when you're done so it's better than when you found it. If you're asked to learn something, then turn around and teach somebody else the same thing. If you do that every day, it becomes a habit. That habit then becomes your reputation. And your reputation is what will then give you more responsibility. And if you do that day after day, then you get to come back and wear the red robe. I'd like to thank again the parents, family members, and the mentors. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do this and continue to preserve what it means to be an American. And for those of you graduating, I would like to give you your first task as fresh graduates. You all have guests here, or you may be getting on the phone to call them, those people that are special to you. Thank them just a little bit more than what they expect. And you'll be well on your way. Again, congratulations. the salute of the graduating divisions, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frobert. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags, posts, section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. Gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this Liberty Call!